Hello, Miss McGovern. Hi. It is an honor and a thrill to have you with us, especially after this series of Downton. So much, you let Cora really go to town this year, didn't you? It was fun for me. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. A question as I ask from a point of not really knowing about acting. You're in that character for such a short period of time, and then life goes on and you return to the character, and you've done it for five seasons now. What I wonder, is it hard to step back into Cora because it's not just a carbon copy each time, she's also growing and changing. Is that a challenge for you as an actor? Well, I think the beauty of the way it's working for us is that I respond to what Julian sees, and he responds to what I see, and we never have any conversations about it. But he is letting Cora grow and develop slowly over the years, and I think he responds to things that I give him, ways I'll interpret a scene that might on the page seem quite simple. And I can see that he picks up on things. I mean, it's, it's almost eerie the way he sort of intuits things that are quite deeply personal about all of the actors. And then we suddenly see it reflected in the storyline. The kind of thing I've never done before is live with a character over the course of so many years. And it's really an opportunity for an actor. I mean, there's just no other situation in which you're presented with this sort of opportunity to um, inhabit a character as it grows and changes and, and you age. Yeah. So um, I just, it's, it's really fun for us. It's interesting to me, we here at PBS have done a lot of costume dramas over the year, but nothing is really connected like Downton. One thought from you on why it connects. Any idea? You know, people ask everyone in the cast that question all the time, and my response is always the same. I really have no idea. I mean, every time I do a project, it's the kind of thing that you hope happens. You hope an audience picks up on everything about it that you like. But it, I've, I've become accustomed to the fact that it hardly ever happens. Yeah. And in this case, for some reason, I don't know, having to do with the zeitgeist, what people are looking for <laughs> right now, um, people people have responded. They, they notice little things that happen in the stories that I've, I've come to sort of accept audiences will never notice. And, and yet I find <laughs> that they do in this case, and, and it means something to them. So I have no idea why. If I did, everything I ever worked on would, would have this effect. Very true. Now, one thing people often forget is that you are a real person. You are not just Cora on the screen. And outside of being an actress, you also have been very successful as a singer with Sadie and the Hotheads. Well, thank you very much. I love the sound of that band. I love what you do. For folks that are unfamiliar with them, tell me a little bit about Sadie. Well, it actually predates Downton Abbey. The band existed for about five years before the show. Um, and it just came together because there was a group of musicians that all live within the same circumference in West London that I live. <laughs> and we started getting together and playing each other's songs in a casual way. And then we started recording the songs at home in a, in a sort of casual way. And we just kept doing it. And we, we kept uh, performing every chance we got. And um, much to my surprise, it's grown and developed. And um, it's become more of a, a serious enterprise, um, although it still is a lot of fun. But anyway, the, the uh, last year culminated in a, mini tour that we did in the United States in which we ended performing for this show, which has always been my dream because I love the show. It's called Live at Infinity Hall, and it's a PBS show that will start its series in June. So we're really proud to be a part of a group that, that has been on that show. One last question. When you approach a song, because you are an actor, do you approach it differently? Do you find the character and present it, or can you let that go and just go with the music? That's a really good question. I, I think I can't help but approach it differently. I think that my, my interest in storytelling and in 
and being a character is so ingrained deeply in me that that it it comes out in my songwriting. But I feel like over the years, I've, it suddenly occurred to me that what my songs are are musical expressions of of an inner monologue. You know, I, I feel like that's what melody is. Melody connects to people because it connects to some kind of inner thought that we have that is is a language of its own. So when I write a song, for me, it's it's, it's the thoughts that are inside people and and. It's the way they find their musical expression is what I try to find with my band. We look forward to getting to experience it with the new PBS show coming up, and we're waiting with bated breath for the new season of Downton next year. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's been a pleasure.